Hey guys, Pample here, back on my Tekkit server. And today I'm going to show you a mod that's similar to the Teleport Pipes mod and this Redstone mod, it kind of combined. It is the wireless Redstone mod in Tekkit, and I find it extremely useful. And today I'm going to show you two basic items you can make with said mod. Now, to start off, we're going to need stone wafers. If you don't remember how to make those, you take a piece of stone and you put it in the furnace. As I did with the spinning redstone thing mod, or whatever this is called. Anyways, you take that, and you're going to need um, to make four of them into stone wire. And you're also going to want to make a bowl out of stone. And also, you're going to want to take um, four obsidian planks and make obsidian sticks. Yeah, I know obsidian doesn't go in planks, and I have no idea how you make sticks out of obsidian. Sounds like a very complicated process, or at least very painstaking with extensive tools, more than which you'd find in your usual crafting bench, but whatever. It's Minecraft. Anyways, um, you're going to also want to take your ender pearls. Surround them in redstone and glowstone, and you're going to get a wreather pearl, or however you pronounce that. You're going to want to take these two and two obsidian sticks, make a wireless transceiver, and you're going to want to take one of the wireless transceivers and put it in the bowl. Therefore, getting a receiver dish or a wireless transceiver in a bowl. Now we're ready to assemble what we're going to make here, so we're going to take the transceiver in the bowl, put an obsidian stick beneath it, a stone wafer beneath that, and two redstone wires, and you get a wireless receiver. This is obviously the receiving end of the, um, the wireless redstone mod. Now we need the transmitter. And for that, you're going to want to do pretty much the same recipe, except this time the transceiver is not in the bowl. And you get the wireless transmitter. Okay. Now we are going to go down and test this out. Ow. Just going to run over here where I made a bit of a test site. As you can see here, I have a bit of a test set up, and first I'm actually going to need some sticks to make a redstone torch for this test. So anyways, I got my log from the now floating tree. I'm going to make normal sticks, and going to make a redstone torch. Okay. Anyways, as you can see here, I have two transmitters and a receiver. But first, let me explain um, how these items work. Let me just put the transceiver down and the receiver. And as you can see here, they're kind of the objects that we made, and they've got numbers over here. Now these numbers, if you right click on them, will give you the frequency. Now you can make the frequency whatever number you want, really. Um, I guess it goes up to 5,000. And, yeah, you can just kind of pick whatever number you want, I guess. So, let's just put this one at 16. And, yeah. So, the transmitter is now at frequency 16. So, it will only work, um, it'll only be received by an object that is at frequency 16. Because if I have power to this, this does not receive power. However, if I were to take the wireless receiver, right-click on it, and set this to 16, then these two are connected wirelessly, and if I were to put the torch down here, this would become powered. And also, um, I don't believe there is a range for distance on this thing, or at least I've managed to go um, a good 300, 400 blocks and have no trouble with the signal being um, taken away. So, as long as the, um, the chunk is spawned, I think you have no problem. And if you remember how to make 
world anchors, then you really have no problem whatsoever. So anyways, also as a test, I've got an iron door here, and it's got a receiver on one, and it has two transmitters, one with frequency one and one with frequency two. Now, I could quiz you guys on which one will make the iron door open, but I I'm sure Kindergartner could figure that out. So yeah, I'm going to put it on two. And as you can guess, nothing happened. So if you thought two was going to work, you are wrong. Now if I were to put it on one, the door opens. Look at that. I, I can make it open without even being anywhere near it. What kind of sorcery is this? And I made a chicken here. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for the mod. It's pretty basic, yet it can go a long way. I mean, and it'll help you, like, save, um, time and resources making wires or whatever. And it'll make all of your redstone contraptions a lot less, well, complicated and stuff. Because all you need is these rather than a bunch of redstone and a bunch of repeaters and everything. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching!